Your mom asked me to, like, help raise you. Yeah, I know. She was raised in the Depression. Everyone helped raise everyone. It's no. just role play. I'll be your mom, and you can tell her what you want to tell her. Mom, I don't need your help. I've got it. I'm okay. The way I write, I don't really create characters. I kind of find peop existing real people, and I try to really work off of them. <laughs> I was trying to actually capture something that was real rather than invent all this stuff. I interviewed some women I know now, and I love that way of working, where it's a little bit a reporter, a little bit a screenwriter. Do you think you're happy? Seriously? You don't ask people questions like that. You're my mom. <laughs> Especially your mom. Dorothea, Nat Benning's character, it's, it's based a lot on my mom. So that's all memories, because my mom's gone. Was having Jamie, like, the biggest thing that ever happened to you? I guess so. Abby's based on people who are really close to me, and all the stuff that happened in her life happened to, to some women I know. And the same thing, Julie. Julie's a lot of girls I had crushes on in junior high, high school. I try to get as many concrete details in from these women's lives or from my memories of my mom. And I, because I believe like the more concrete and specific it is, actually the more universal it is. It's always about the mother. Okay, Jesus, uh, yeah. Hey, Vale here. Like me, are you a movie lover? Well, a list has been released of the top 100 films of the 21st century, and we have cut it down to give you the top 10 films as selected by 177 film critics from around the world. At number 10, No Country for All Men by Joe and Ethan Cohen from 2007. At number 9, A Separation by Asghar Farahadi from 2011. Number 8, Yee Yee, a 1 and uh, a 2 by Edward Yang from 2000. Number 7, The Tree of Life by Terence Malik from 2011. Number 6, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind by Michael Gondry from 2004. Number 5, Boyhood by Richard Linklater from 2014. Number Number four, Spirited Away uh, by Ayao Mikayazi uh, from 2001. Number three, There Will Be Blood by Paul Thomas Anderson from 2007. Number two, In the Mood for Love by Wong Karvai from 2000. And number one, Malholland Drive by David Lynch from 2001. Do you agree with this list? How many of these films have you seen? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you haven't already done it, to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases. Bye-bye.